Hey, what's going on folks? It's Brian and welcome back to BG Model Workshop. We're throwing our head in to get another group build and this one's being hosted by our good friend Mars over at Mars Garage. Um, if you don't know his channel, there will be a link down below. You need to check it out. He does awesome work. He's a very, very modest fellow, a man after my own heart, <laughs> but uh, he does good work. And he's just like the rest of us. He's growing in, in, in leaps and bounds with his channel and stuff. So we want to support him and the group build that he's doing. And he's doing a, a, um, a, a rust bucket group build, which is, again, something else after my own heart. And uh, we, we were just on the phone here a few minutes ago. We we're talking about it. Uh, specifics on the group build. I have a note. I wrote it down. Uh, July 1st, 2023 to September 30th, 2023. Uh, just a couple months, but... It's going to be a quick build for us. Hopefully it'll be a quick build for you guys too. Um, and this is something to help push your your limits when it comes to weathering or rusting something. Try out some new techniques. Or if you already do a technique for rusting, maybe you can perfect it or just have the more experience or practice doing it. So I think that this is a really inspired idea. But uh, we, we had picked up the uh, 37 Ford surf truck. Um, it's kind of rusty on the cover on the box art and I thought well that's a good choice but it's sort of also it's forte I mean it's supposed to be a rust bucket pickup truck so uh, I thought maybe we should check around and see if we have something in the stash that's not supposed to be a rust bucket and turn it into that so uh, we went looking through, this, through the to through the closet the closet of shame over there and uh, found something that's actually missing parts and decals so I'm not able to actually build it the way I want to which is box art style and, uh, and I was aware of it when I bought it. The guy that warned me, I only got it for a couple of bucks. He warned me it's like missing some stuff. So I was like, well, we'll see. I got it home. I'm like, oh, it's missing all the stuff that makes it special. But we got this little guy. That's right. This is a 1967 Monte Carlo winner. And um, if you're not familiar with the Monte Carlo race of that era, Mini Coopers were dominating through those, through those couple of years there. Uh, so much so that they actually changed the rules. It's a whole thing. <laughs> the whole FIA thing but uh yeah anyway I'm digressing we are missing some parts out of this guy here so I'm thinking wouldn't it be kind of cool to make this little dude sort of look like uh you know if it had been sitting in a field for the last couple decades and uh some people had taken souvenirs off the car so it's missing some things and I thought that would be kind of a, a an interesting um what do they say in in the world of art an interesting study as we as they like to say so let's uh Let's go ahead and do this dude, and then uh, we'll let you know how it goes. Of course, it doesn't start until July 1st, but now that we have the kit picked out and a direction we want to go with it, I am super excited to get started. So we'll be building that in parallel with the, um, the Street Machine group build, plus the Rolly Bird group build that's coming up, and the uh, Chris Cortell Celebration of Life, Life group build that's going on right now, and the NASCAR group build. So <laughs> we've got a lot going on, but thankfully... It's getting so hot here in Phoenix that uh, paint dries very, very quickly. And it's too hot to do anything outside in the afternoon, so plenty of bench time. Okay, guys, thanks uh, so much for subscribing, joining in, following along with us. And if you're not subscribed, please consider it. Um, ring that little bell so you know when we post. And uh, we'll, we'll appreciate that greatly. Y'all take it easy. We'll talk to you a little bit later on. Bye now.